Hello and welcome to the episode 357 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. The highlights of the day include an all-nighter, a difficult Christmas party and a couple of political meetings. On the 23rd of December 1961, the Beatles, featuring Pete Best on drums, performed an all-nighter concert at the Cavern Club in Liverpool. The bill also included The Searchers, Jerry and the Pacemakers, The Dream of Four, The Saints and Mikey Ashman's Jazz Band. One year later, in 1962, the Beatles performed their sixth straight night at the Star Club in Hamburg, West Germany. In 1964, the Beatles were engaged in the third day of rehearsals for the forthcoming Another Beatles Christmas Show production at the Odeon Cinema in London. Time for my call to action, a classic. At the end of the episode, if you feel like lending me a hand for the production of this and more music-related content, please head to www.simonmas.com support, read the list of things you can do and, well, do anything you can. Thank you for helping out! On the 23rd of December 1968, there was a Christmas party at the Apple headquarters. All the staff was invited with their family and children. The children's party, with more than 100 kids in attendance, took place in Apple board member Peter Brown's office at 2.30 pm, featuring loads of sweets, cakes and ice cream, while the grown-ups met in CEO's Neil Aspinall's office. The lavish banquet revolved around a 43-pound turkey, about 20 kilos, the largest in Great Britain, with John Lennon and Yoko Ono appearing dressed as Father and Mother Christmas, distributing gifts to kids and parents alike, with the help of singer Mary Hopkin. All the joy disappeared immediately with the appearance of Frisco Pete, though, one of the Hells Angels that had come to use the Apple offices as a free place to stay while in London. See episode 338 for more information on how this came to be. Pete elbowed his way through the room and started screaming at John and Yoko that the angels wanted to eat and that there was no chance of waiting until 7 pm, in not exactly courteous terms, and punching one of the guests, who had decided to ask for a little consideration. With John Lennon totally stupefied and unable to do anything, Peter Brown was rushed into the room and managed to defuse the situation. In 10 minutes, the buffet was ready and Frisco Pete made sure to be the first to walk into the room and rip off the left leg of the turkey for himself. Everyone was happy and the party could go on, ending as planned at midnight. Let's close the episode with a meeting taking place on this day in 1969, that of John Lennon and Yoko Ono with Canada's Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau in Ottawa. The meeting went on, privately, for 51 minutes. When the three emerged, John confirmed the good impression he had about Trudeau, stating that, if all politicians were like Mr. Trudeau, there would be world peace. The couple later met Canadian Health Minister John Monroe for almost two hours and then flew back to London. It was the only time they could talk about their peace campaign with the Prime Minister. Well, I guess this is it for today. Tomorrow we'll talk about the start of two variety shows. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas! Music you love